it's time to dish with D. That's me. Thank you for on this video. Welcome to another Food Finds Friday. I'm at my local ShopRite and I'm going to show you how to create easy, healthy, and delicious meals with minimal ingredients, minimal time, easy prep, and just as delicious. So here's a few food ideas. Hope you enjoy. I'm going to go in there and see how easy it is to make meals from the pantry, freezer, and fresh department. So let's go in and see if we can find easy ways to make quick, healthy, and delicious meals. Come along. Let's start in the produce department. Look at all the prepared vegetables that they have. And I'm sure yours has the same. You can easily make a quick stir fry with these. They're ready to go. They're chopped. There's even garlic. I mean, you, all you have to do is add a protein, add some rice or some quinoa. Or if you're the cauliflower rice people, you could add that as well. But look at these. Look at these broccoli slaws and kale slaws. They make quick, delicious meals. Quickly, it's like I said, it's prepped and ready to go. You just have to throw it in the pan. You could have dinner on the table in under 15 minutes with this. And I've never seen kale slaw. So I was intrigued. If it didn't have broccoli, then I probably would have bought it. But I wanted kale slaw. I didn't want broccoli kale slaw. So, And here is the, where the bag lettuces are. They have all these fun kits. You could add shrimp, salmon, ch grilled chicken, steak, and have a delicious delicious protein salad. I love adding quinoa in my salad as well. Cooked quinoa is fantastic. Great source of protein and it adds that grain there. It gives it, it makes it a little bit more filling and satiating. But oh yeah, look at all the different, you know. And we have the canned vegetables and beans. You can make such a quick meal with canned vegetables and beans. Your beans are going to give you your protein and your fiber and the vegetables will give you fiber as well. There's so many different things you can choose from. I always say rinse everything that you get in a can to get rid of all that sodium, but it's still absolutely yummy. And then we're going to peruse down over here to these little sections where they have potatoes. Let's get a better look at these potatoes because honestly, that's not the best shot, Denise. But we're going to... These are instant mashed potatoes. I know, I know. But you know what? Once in a while, it makes a quick meal. And I love, love, love these little rice boxes and kits. There are so many different flavors. You can add, like I said, chicken, shrimp, steak. And a lot of them, if you look on the back, see, these are side dishes. But if you look on the back, I think I will show you this soon, that it tells you how to make it into a complete dinner. And it'll just, and, and, and tell you, it's, it's so simple. And again, you could have dinner on the table within under half an hour. If your protein's already cooked, you could have your dinner on the table in 20 minutes. So definitely a great time saver, in my opinion, and delicious. Like I said, and if you're single or just the two of you, you can get a couple of meals out of that. And look at that, these little individual ones, if you know, keep them stocked up. I love these little, little cooked rices. Rice is all ready to go. Minimal time. You just have to microwave it or boil it in a, you know, minimal time and you have a great healthy grain. Do not put puff rice, my lovelies. Rice is very, very good for you and it's very satiating. I mean, granted, we can't be having two cups of it, but another one, making a complete meal out of it. There are so many things on the pantry shelves these days that you could sit there and make meals out of. And then we're going to go to the frozen department. Look at the frozen veg, all the fun vegetables they have now. I love veggie tots. Oh my God, I love veggie tots. <sighs> they have spiral eyes. They have veggie fries, veggie tots. All these little um, re meals with grains and vegetables. Again, you could add grilled chicken. You could add shrimp. You could add a steak. You could add pork, whatever you want. Look at this, Asian stir fry. There is cauliflower rice in that. But hey, you can have a little bit of regular, those little regular rices we just looked at and bulk it up a little bit. But definitely it's there and it can make a quick dinner for you because I know we all of us don't want to be in the kitchen. We don't have a lot of time. But check out your frozen food section. There's plenty of things that have, look at these. These have potatoes in them and vegetables. Butternut squash. Again, add some chicken. If you get a rotisserie chicken for the week, you could have many meals with a few bags of these and a rotisserie chicken. So absolutely, I love the grilled ones. They're all ready to go on the grill. Look at the, I mean, they're just, it's crazy. And look at these. These are the bird's eye veggie pasta. They're really pretty good. It's all these different types of things. You could just add a little bit of protein to the side of these. Make a quick dinner. Now remember, keep to portion size. Read the back of the bag. What is a portion of any of these? Don't be eating the whole bag. 
but there's one with potatoes and string beans and there's a lot of interesting things just because it's in a bag and it has a vegetable doesn't mean we can eat the whole bag sometimes they have a nice big grain rice cauliflower look at these these are white rice and vegetables all ready to go oh this looks like i said you can get a couple meals out of this and you know for minimal price like i said get a rotisserie chicken have some cooked shrimp rotini and broccoli with cheese sauce add some chicken look at these voila now these are already completed meals they have everything in it but i thought i'd show you them anyway because you could always up the protein in these add more chicken add more shrimp to bulk up the protein and not the points that's always an option if you get these and steamers grab a bag of steamers always have steamed vegetables you could always add your oats those rices we looked at and some protein and have a complete meal very very easy to do and honestly they're pretty affordable oh, i hope you enjoyed this video i just i just edited it while i went and pick up the dog at the groomers i did choke at that one point in case you wonder why why did i stop in the middle literally i was choking <laughs> oh, God. oh God, i just i knew i was almost done i can't can I get through it? I have to stop. So that's why there's a little disconnect towards the end. Like, why is she quiet? Because she's choking. On her own spit. So if you enjoy these Food Finds Friday videos, let me know with a big old thumbs up. And if you want to see more, let me know in the comment section below. I hope you got some good ideas from these. What I would love to do, and I just don't think I can physically do it, is to show you, physically show you how to make these meals. It's just, it wouldn't be enough for my family and I would be like spending way too much. It's affordable when it's just one or two people, but when you're buying it for four, especially when there are three of them are men, I, I'd have to buy how many bags for them? So for me, it does not work out that way because of having all these men. But if it's just you or you and your husband, you can get away with that. And like I said, you get a rotisserie chicken, you could shred up or just get some regular chicken breast, cook it up. You can also get some pre-cooked shrimp, cook your own shrimp. Salmon would be beautiful in any of these. I love, and especially the salad. If you've never had a salad with salmon on it, it's fantastic. It's so good. And you could season it differently each time. So it'd be a little bit different. And don't be afraid of, yes, those salads have dressing that are ridiculous. I know, but it's your dinner. You know, it's, it's your dinner. So you can afford to have a four or five point salad. You know, it's your dinner. It's your main meal of the night. Don't sit there and say, oh, I can't do that. It's your main meal of the night. And a lot of it is coming from the oil. So honestly, I, I wouldn't quibble over that. And also, was I going to say something else too? <laughs> something else something about proteins um like i showed you those meals you also can like i said buy the voila voila and add more chicken add more fish you know it's really good to bulk up the meals with extra protein so that's always a good option too like i love a lot of those meals but like i said you need more protein in them so they're always an option as well oh the quinoa cook a i guess a cup of cooked quinoa I might think, does it double? I'm not sure. But I was at a, I was, I was at a brewery once and the salad came with a quarter cup of, I guess it was a quarter cup. I mean, I'm guessing how much was on there, but it was cooked, it was cold and they sprinkled it on the salad. So it gave me protein. So it made that sound a little bit more satiating because it is salad, you know, you're saying it's salad. Salad is great, but it's not filling. If you're having it for dinner, you need things like quinoa on there, some cheese. Yes, the fatty dressing will help keep you full. Keto peoples, that's what they that's why they have the fat. It's filling, you know. But throw a protein on there. Cooked quinoa. I, I just love it. And you know, once you try it, you might like it. And like I said, it'll bulk it up a little bit so you're not gonna be hungry an hour later. Cause let's face it, we've all had salad, it's like where I need more. So Throwing a grain in there will help. It's a healthy grain. Quinoa is technically a seed. so And it kind of pops and it has a little spiral thing. But <clears throat> quinoa salads are really good. Quinoa bowls are really good. So you could cook up a vat of quinoa and make a different type of bowl every night. You could put chicken on it one night. Make it southwest. You could put shrimp one night and make it Asian with, you know, different types of vegetables and seasonings. And you just, but you go through that quinoa. Same thing with even brown rice. You can do that with rice too. But it's definitely fun 
couscous is a great grain as well. You can cook up a couple cups of it and it'll last you several days and you just, you know. But that's just a few ideas I had. I hope to make, you know, eating dinner a little bit easier and, you know, quick ideas. Because I know a lot of us, we want quick. I don't want to be an hour and a half in that kitchen. I want to, Dee, come on, come on. So I'm trying to do my best to help you out with that because I don't want to be in the kitchen either. I used to, I mean, I love to cook. I do. I do love to cook. But I just don't feel like doing it. So only when I, I kind of stress cook sometimes when I'm under stress and then I just go in there and I just create things and, and like just make things out of nothing. And that's fun when, I, when I'm not under the gun. But when you're under the gun, it's not enjoyable. So... But that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know with a big old thumbs up. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, join us here at Tisha D. We are doing weight loss, healthy lifestyle, trying to find little things to make life easier for everyone because we want to do, we want to stay on plan. How do we stay on plan? With easy, good ideas. And that's what we do here at Tish with D. So if you are new here, you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, hit it, join it, see what you like. There's some several old, there's lots of videos here you could peruse. I always leave two at the end of the video. They kind of always need a little bit of love. So if you're not busy, I will leave two linked at the end. Probably I'll leave my soup that I made on Sunday. Again, a nice Mediterranean soup. It's, you know, has um, lentils and turkey sausage. When you, you know, turkey sausage is kind of like a turkey sausage, but when you put it with a lot of good um, lentils and some spices and some herbs, and you elevate it to something really, really good, and it almost, you don't even know it's turkey sausage. And that's where I kind of like, kind of like put it in there, give it a little pizzazz, and it's absolutely, you don't even miss the regular pork sausage. So I will leave that video and another one if you could take a look at, I would love it. And thank you for watching, and I will dish with you another day. Bye-bye, my lovelies. Gotta go get the dog out of the groomers.